Last before lunch, but certainly not least, um, we are going to hear a presentation on how to make financial education tangible, the Wikifin lab experience. And I've already introduced him, but it's always a pleasure to invite the proud father of Wikifin to have another word. Jean-Paul, the stage is yours. So, Edas, you are definitely too polite and uh, too positive about me. Thanks for that. But uh, I am indeed very proud uh, as uh, um, FSMA chair to, that we decide to launch this ambitious program about financial education. So, if I may, my understanding of the very insightful debate we had this morning is quite clear. First thing first, I would say. We have to promote uh, financial literacy for young and old alike. I have the pleasure to live with four kids, uh, four adults. So okay, it means for me, Daddy, what do you do again? It's greenwashing. Hopefully, I have the pleasure to discuss and to work with Merat uh, during the night in, in Strasbourg for finding an agreement. And what about financial education? Just one thing, uh, many of them are, in fact, graduated at university. But for them, the first step of their financial education, it was at the university, and never before. Uh, three of them, or four, are in fact uh, involved of already graduating business management, but I can tell you, never, never a course about financial education. And that's take, also taking uh, that on board on basis of my personal experience that we decide to, to take action in order to develop sufficient resilience. Thank you for your uh, comment, much appreciated as IOS co-chair from Morocco, in our rapidly uh, changing society. And that's the reason why I am so delighted um, to set out briefly our work in the area of financial education. So what I would like to do in 15 minutes, as agreed with Batcop, is no more there, some chance, okay, so. <laughs> Um, first, briefly outline our mission as regards financial education. Secondly, describe our Wikifin program. And last but not least, because I presume that's the reason why the European Commissioner decided to choose the FSMA, not because we are not far from DG FISMA and the Berlemont, but because there is the well-known Wikifin uh, lab, which will be, be soon visiting together. First, about our mission. Belgium means Twin Peaks model like in the UK, like in the Netherlands, but in fact, the model for us was in Australia. So it means no fight between the two supervisors, the Central Bank of Belgium and BB, and the FSMA, always a clear leadership, which means also that we need to take the advice of the other supervisory for many aspects. What does it mean for the FSMA, like the FCA of the IFM, in order of ASIC in Australia? It means uh, many domains with, of course, a core mission, a core mission statement, how to protect and ensure an appropriate level of consumer protection. What it means, surveillance of the financial market. We have a, a market room here, just on the second floor. Supervision of rule of conduct, so MIFID 1, MIFID 2, ESG profit is part of our day-to-day -day. and just information, dear Commissioner, 80% of the timesheet of my Quite comprehensive and quite impressive, I think, investigation team. We have 40 professional people, night and day, on the field. 80% of their time, it's about you, MIFIT 1, MIFIT 2, EAG. So it means a supervisory convergence is already there. I would say it's important to know because we had, it's a never-ending story to discuss. But that's the reality on the field. So it means that supervisory uh, convergence is going the right direction at ESMA and EOPA. Uh, level. So that's for, I would say, the main aspect, okay, Su surveillance of the financial market, supervision of rule of conduct, product supervision. We are proud to believe in ex-ante supervision whenever it's possible, because I think it means less litigation, less problem, and we are able also to avoid many litigation. And it's a win-win approach, not only for the client, but also for the bank and the life insurance, for instance. When the FSMA was, start, was launched um, 13 years ago, in 2011, 
uh, the FSMA was entrusted at my request, let us be clear, I'm sorry to say that, it was a personal, I uh, would say, objective for me, because I had the pleasure, as you told you this morning, to go quite frequently, not far from me, at the Belgian Parliament, lessons to be learned from the crisis, stone at the top, how to avoid me selling. So, okay, we'll do, fine. I propose to launch um, a financial education uh, center. And so that's the reason why the FSMA was entrusted at my request with a new legally mandated, that doesn't exist before, to contribute to financial literacy of consumer in Belgium. To contribute, it doesn't mean that we think that you're only one on board. We believe in public-private partnership. We believe in partnership with other public supervisory body, treasury, and so on. And it means that our mission of uh, financial education is complementary to our mandate as financial supervisor. In other words, please don't make the mistake to only believe either in a tough supervisory model or only to believe in financial education. We strongly believe, after 13 years of experience, in a combined, proportionate, balanced approach Financial education is over and above our supervisory activities and, of course, will never replace them. And in order to lend substance to this new task, the FSMA launched a new financial education program exactly 11 years ago, in 2013, under the name Wikifin. We checked the copyright okay, at the time. Why? Because we thought that maybe FSMA was not so well known. Of course, everybody knows the Brussels-based effect, but that's about the Open Commission, not about the FSMA. At the time, just information, FSMA, it means something popular for 5% of the Belgium citizen, which is already incredible for me. At the start of Wikifin, 10%. 13 years after, 30% of the Belgium citizen know Wikifin. And 15% know the FSMA. As you can see, I can be lyric from time to time. But from time to time, I have some problem even to believe in my own figures. <laughs> but that's the case, I can tell you, because it was conducted by an external provider, uh, a specialized company. So it means that what we are doing is maybe going in the right direction. So it means that 10 years later, we can look back with satisfaction at the development and success of this program and even more financial consumers find a way. If I may, what are the key factors, the, the, the factors which have been instrumental or successful for Opera? A little bit difficult to elaborate on this because you would say, okay, it's about the ego of Jean-Paul Servet, the FSMA, let us try, and then you will see what you think. Personally, I think that there are five uh, factors which are absolutely key if you want to be successful when you launch, I would say, a new uh, financial education center. Five, it's about people, of course. It's about your legal framework and your mission statement, of course. Third aspect, keep it simple. Keep it simple, it was something state uh, stressed again and again during the two panels this morning. Fourth, more surprising, take risk. Take risk as a supervisor, yes. They take risk and fight and choose your battle. Last but not least, about money. People, of course. National strategy, of course. I was there 10 years ago at OECD uh, for, I would say, in, order, in a panel about national strategy. We did it, which is not so easy in Belgium, I can tell you, as you know. <laughs> and I would say also because Dutch-speaking people don't react like French-speaking people of German speak about money, especially in the school. Even in a small country like this, there are differences. So national strategy, it is what it is. But we have to do, and we did it, and it was important. But people, 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 we fought my team, I would be nowhere. You need to engage doer, believers, okay? And that's, we have the pleasure to see, and that's the reason I'm so proud is to work with them, not only in the well-known Wikifin team, but also, I would say, people all around the organization. And the example came from Vienna, I will come back to the flip, you know, 
when I had the pleasure to have a visit guided by the CRO of Este Bank, uh, working as a guide. And that's the reason also why the pleasure to have people at all levels of management volunteering for being the guide once a month to us. So it's part of the organization important for the company culture. Second aspect, legal framework, mission statement. I think, frankly speaking, that without any mission statement, after some time you will be blocked. And that's maybe the problem we have. Commissioner McGuinness is absolutely aware of that, and pushing, and thanks again for that merit, for the end of the first time. But I think that many NC in, in, in Europe still have a problem of lack of mandate. We know it's not easy, subsidiary principle, we know what it means and so, but it has to be done. Third aspect. Don't think that what we think important is important for our citizens. So no way to explain in the street what it means a structured product, what it means a usage, what it means EMIR, what it means even ESG rating. Start with easy thing. People would like to see how they can manage their budget. When we start our first website, it was a lifestyle website. What information do you need when you marry, when you divorce? Not only a painful experience, but also about money. When the children go to the university, to the school, when you get retired. The most popular, the most popular part of our website was how to finance a student room in Brussels. It was not about Euronext Brussels. It was not about structured product. Let us be clear. 11 million people in Belgium doesn't mean 11, peop 11 million people able to have savings. They want first of all to avoid, to have, to avoid debt, to manage their budget. And that's what you will see with, I would say, a lot of easy games about easy things, I would say. Third aspect, uh, fourth aspect, let us be clear. Take risk. When I propose to open a Wikifin lab. Let us be clear. I only receive negative advice. Are you crazy, Jean-Paul, Mr. Seven? You know what it means? A giant country like Belgium. All distances are impressive. Even if you want to buy a bread at the corner of the street, it's very far from your house. And many people talk, can you imagine that people would come from Ghent when we will have the UFI? From Namur, the capital of Wallonia. I can tell you, after four years, I have a majority of people coming from Antwerp, from the coast, and not far from the German border. And a minority of people coming from Brussels. That's very important. So take risk. I only receive negative advice. You will go drive around the mall. Nobody is interested. I can tell you, we are fully booked all the year. That's very difficult to say to a supervisor. Take risk and choose your battle. Don't think that you will be able to explain everything about the stock exchange and blah, blah, blah. No, first thing first. Last but not least, money. Yes, that's a real problem even in Europe. Even in Europe. Let us be clear. I don't have the capacity uh, to raise taxes. But I required from the sector, and many of them are in the room, commissioners who can check if there is a lot of pushback but outside my presence, it would be more objective. I think that I may say that they can live with it. I would say. So you require to, yes, indeed, raise taxes, if I may call it. It's part of a budget. But the reaction I had from all representatives, you see, OK, I understand what you are doing. It's a win-win approach. If I want to develop as an insurer, as a banker, as a pension fund, as an asset manager, as a slitted company, all victims of the FSMA, huh? if I want to have a sustainable long-term relationship, I need to have people understanding what I'm explaining about MIFIT, about solvency, and blah, blah, blah. And I think that I may say that they know this and that there was no pushback. But I also to tell you what it means to be required to pay for the Wikifin lab for many, many small, small brokers. 
let's try to, to speak politically correct, one bowl of muesli every month, and it's even that, it's st tax deductible. So one bowl of muesli every month. Not so expensive. Mutualization of the funding by thousands and thousands entities. Lessons to be learned, and I think that everybody is on the same line, but of course I am not objective by saying that. Second aspect about the structure of a Wikifin program. Too many aspects, I would say. The starting point is quite easy to understand. First pillar, John and Mary in the street. Second pillar, the children of John and Mary, no more in the street, but in the classroom. For both pillars, we decide to be there when, where we had to be. And for, all of the, the, for, for both pillars, we also decide to choose where nobody expected that we would be there. First pillar, about John and Mary in the street, general public. And of course, it means a website. Website means managed by the FSMA, neutral, reliable, practical information to consume, along with concrete tips, simulator, and checklist. We have a simulator in order to compare saving accounts, the famous Belgium regulated savings, 700,000 times used. Even for classical bank account, 800,000. So it means that there is a need and that we are trying to match the need with our simulator, which are very popular. So it means that last year, the site, which was, I would say, uh, updated very frequently, received 4 million visits. 4 million visits for a total population of 11. I think that we can be proud. Of course, we are not the Kardashian of even Beyonce. We are less glamorous, especially the chair. But let us be clear, a fantastic, fantastic outreach, because I think that the way you can consult the Wikifin uh, website match with the expectation of John and Mary industry. It means Wikifin website, 13 million visits. But then also we decide to be where nobody expected that we would be. We have our own national, I would say, money week with the support of the Queen of Belgium. Uh, queen, um, um, our Queen is always uh, there, Mathilde, very involved in all aspects of financial education. Not only online, but also in translation, shopping center, mall, market. The 4th of July in Belgium, that's the 21st of July, and I can tell you we are competitive of the Belgium army. We are there explaining financial education to people there in order to see uh, the Belgium army, that's a national day. And frankly speaking, it's a very popular uh, presence. That's for, I would say, the first pillar, John and Mary in the street, website, but also in the street. Second pillar, about school. I am used to saying the first ambassador of Wikifin are the teacher. Are the teacher, let us be clear. And since the very beginning, young people have been an important target group of the Wikifin program, a healthy financial team begins from the young age. So what does it mean? It means that, frankly speaking, they are in the first line of the group of stakeholders we have in our education center. So we have an online platform dedicated called Wikifin at School. It means, ladies and gentlemen, that we have teachers have 250 activities available for use in class, including teaching materials, interactive tools, such as budget tool, and even a demo bank application, which is a form of home bank. What does it mean under the day? 20,000 teachers, 20,000 teachers are active on the platform and the team and the teaching materials have been downloaded more than 180,000 times for free. And if you want to use that, feel free. It's also possible outside Belgium. And we are also very pleased, which was not an objective as such, that financial education is incorporated into the curriculum in Belgium as a result of which pupils in the Flemish school system are all required to have classes in financial education at the secondary level. Absolutely unbelievable. It was none of my objective, but yes, we are there after five years of discussion with the Ministry of the Dutch-speaking Dijon. And this initiative offered to school by Wikifen are thus necessary and are very much appreciated by Dijon. 
And last but not least, we decide to open a Wikifin lab. Full of risk, huh? I can tell you. Only negative advice, you are crazy, it's digital. No, no, no. You have to believe it. You know, there must be a place dedicated somewhere in Brussels for financial education. And that's the reason why we decided to renovate these premises and to think about a Wikifin lab in, in order to have a complete, uh, a fully fledged, comprehensive financial discourse. So you will have a chance to discover the Wikifin lab for yourself in a few minutes. Just would like to give you a little bit more background information. Four points for that. What does it mean, the lab? What topics are addressed? Third aspect, how does the lab work? And what's the source of its success according to the FSME? First, what does it mean? A Wikifin lab, not a boring exhibition of museum. Not a medical center against some problem related to the use of Bitcoin. Okay? It's about Pavlov reflex. It's a knowledge center in order to develop a kind of Pavlov reflex. It's not about knowledge. It's just to try to understand what you need to know yourself about you as a financial consumer. And it's about gaming. That's very important. And to realize this objective, um, the Wikifin lab opted by for an experience-based approach rather than simply an accumulation of knowledge. I have to be convinced by my team, it's only digital, no books, and not so many expectations. Afterwards, it is an exercise where they can reflect on their experiences and put into words what they've learned. And that allows them to use their newly acquired knowledge and skill for future decision and action. So what does it mean, I would say, about figures? The lab offers 1,000 square meters of interactive experience. Target group or in is pupils between the age of 12 and 18. I would say more personally 15, uh, between 15 and 8. That's the time that you start as a consumer and to make some mistake about big coins and so. It was opened during the COVID crisis in September 2020, and it has been fully booked since uh, then. Second aspect, what are the teams to, uh, addressed in the Wikifin lab? So the students follow a trajectory. You will see that during the lunch, it combines digital games and live explanation. The debriefing is as important as the gaming. Therefore, we have an excellent, I would say, a team of coach. They debrief after every game. Fascinating to see how they can change their meaning because they just discovered democracy. They just have the opportunity to exchange a view with their, with their friends. And you can see many people changing their mind. It's also about group experience. One central uh, team throughout the whole visit is budget management. Budget management. That's, I would say, the most important. What's the cost of living and what the choice do I make to make and split. <coughs> Second important subject is influence. We are not against marketing. Just that people understand what it means to be influenced, to have influence and to have marketing. And how is my consumer behavior influence? Third subject, the choice you have to make as a saver. I have some savings. Do I take risk? Yes, yes, even in Belgium, we decide to speak about the stock exchange. I can tell you, in some schools, that was a revolution. And I had the pleasure to see that I was supporting the idea after the Bitcoin arrival. For me, it was much more easy to explain. What does it mean, a stock exchange? The capacity, for instance, in Brussels to support the finance of real economy, pharma pharmaceutical, biotech, fintech, startup university, Please, don't think that you will get a lot of money by, use, uh, by um, making some money at short term with Bitcoin and then uh, losing everything. Much more easy, I would say, after the arrival of uh, some digital so-called um, asset. And so that's the important, important aspect to see. Four team, that's about the consequence of your choice as a citizen. And then you will get, take the job of Minister of Budget of the Belgium state. Good luck, eh? because we have neighbors. We are very strict in the Berlaymont building. Eh? We can be monitored by the Open Commission if necessary. 
fascinating spin in one word. The Belgium government decided to give for free to one million people. One million people, it means all the students, teenagers in Belgium, a, a free uh, tablet, an app. Okay? An iPad. One billion. What do you think? Good idea? Not a good idea? I can tell you, at the beginning, every, everybody thinks it's a good idea, and then after some time, not sure, because it means compensation for the budget, less, less support, I would say, for, I would say, uh, uh, less retirement pension for the grandfather. So a lot of interaction debate in the group. Last but not least, we decided recently to add a new uh, team about cryptocurrency. We receive a lot of questions about this, and we have also a game, quite surprising, about the cryptocurrency, uh, and this via social media, among these things. And I think that we were right to do that because it doesn't happen frequently in the day-to-day -day life of many te teenagers. They have the capacity, the, the connection, in order to receive neutral, objective, I would say, explanation about what it means about risk, uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, and especially when we know that more and more young people are falling victim to fraud, that's the reason also why we decide to put in the journey additional games in order to equip them against this risk. And that's the reason why we have incorporated example of attempted fraud into the trajectory with some scams uh, on, on their tablets, also very useful. So as you can see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, dear commissioner, the Wikifin lab is still evolving, but it means that with the development of new gains, that's the best way to respond to change the society. For, ex for example, the rapid process of digitalization means that young people are ever more subject to challenges. They need to be equipped to deal with this, and this is what we try to do at the Wikifin lab. Last but not least, how does the Wikifin lab work? You will see in a few minutes, all pupils, it means you, you, eh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, you will receive one tablet that presents the tour. The tablet is also used for a few of the games, and the tablet guides the students through three different settings during the trajectory. The pots, what does it mean, the pots? It means that students play the budget game individually in pots, which are in fact the famous comfy X chairs from the 60s, the famous design um, comfy X chairs. They play also in small group of three, four people in boxes with virtual etiquette. That will be also your experience. And last but not least, there are briefing moments for the whole class led by the educator in rooms. The part in the briefing room of the educator is very important. Let us be clear. If you want to explain the stock exchange, you need to have someone saying, be careful about diversification and risk. Think about sh a long term and not only short term speculation. If I would be there, I would have serious problem about the credibility of the Belgium financial supervisor. And the student can raise question and talk about the experience during the games. The educator asks question to see if the pupils have got the message and can adapt his explanation to the level and knowledge of the students. The choice of an interactive and digital tool, tablets, touchscreens was made to hold the pupil's attention. I can tell you without that, it wouldn't be success. And then they have to run. There is a timing, there is a clock. They have to run during this. It's not the case for you, no stress. <laughs> but it's part of the exercise. I have been told by um, some of my uh, colleagues. And our turning between interactive digital tools and the use of debriefing group session is more motivating for pupils and allow them to continue processing their newfound knowledge for long. What does it mean about scientific research and I pay attention to the comment made by Christophe de Wied. I would say evidence. Scientific research has shown that digital technology is conducive to the learning process of pupils as a complement to other teaching methods. The, peep, the pupil seems to be more engaged and motivated. So you will shortly all have a chance to try a game in one of the box, not all the box, in one of them, in the Wikifin lab that involves marketing techniques. You will be surprised by some of this. So it will be up to you to crawl into the skin of a teenager and play the, uh, the game as they would. Let us be clear, 
I experienced that with many, many colleagues. We were a bit surprised. At the end of the day, I had to, to ask them, can we stop the game? They, they were so involved as a new teenager. I would say even minister, even the minister will be there this afternoon, already played the game, but I don't give the ranking of the score. <laughs> uh, uh, and I refuse any corruption of inducement, uh, I would say. After that, one of the educators will give you a few comments of what people learn during the game. What does it mean in a nutshell, and I will fin uh, close my comment by this, a visit of, of, in the lab always concludes in the auditorium with a debriefing and closing video. Then last but not least, and I would like to say something about this, we added that was a personal request, a knowledge hall. Knowledge hall just in front of you ladies and gentlemen. It's not part of the journey. The objective of this uh, financial road is over and above the standard trajectory and allows to elaborate on certain subjects. The subjects are subdivided into three major themes, financial concept, the financial sector, and personal finance. The objective is to motivate you to try to understand why you have Barbie and Ken on the wall, why you have the symbol of savings in many open jurisdictions a peak, trying to be rescued in a sea, a stormy weather, you will have a famous burger index. So you wouldn't expect that from so-called serious people like the FSMA, financial supervisor. The reason is to, to try to motivate you to push on the button. And if you push on the button, you will understand what the Open Commission is doing under the leadership of Commissioner McGuinness. And I will tell you where you are, you will be surprised. Uh, well, so the objective is to see, OK, why do I have Barbie and Ken? Why do I have a tulip? Tulip is maybe more easy to understand the first uh, crisis in, uh, I would say, in the European capitalism in the Netherlands with the tulip crisis. So it's a, an additional uh, tool. And why do I say that? Because this world is a good example of public-private ownership. And I would like to thank someone, if you can stand up, Philip. Philip. Philip is the managing director of, I would say, an excellent financial education program launched by a private bank, ST. I visited that before the launch. And I was absolutely surprised by his own knowledge world. There are many differences. But it means that public-private partnership also exists. It's not a problem. I am not afraid to discuss with bankers, pension funds, insurance. We are sharing the same goal and the same value. And thanks again to you and your team. It, it was the start, and you are the starting point of this world. So what does it mean, ladies and gentlemen, after three years after the opening of the Wikifin? First, let us be clear, and you will remember that I only received negative advice. We opened the reservation system the last weekend of August. The Tuesday, everything is booked until the end of June next year. So hopefully I didn't pay the invoice for this consulting. <laughs> it means that two, uh, 20,000 pupils from more than 750 classes throughout Belgium decide to visit. And besides, I would say, the feedback that we receive from teachers and pupils alike is very positive. Teachers find the experience of the Wikifin lab. Thank you, Mr. President, Excellency, the Vice Minister, who already tested the Wikifin lab, <laughs> correct me, and he's still alive and kicking. <laughs> uh, and you will see that teachers find the experience of the Wikifin lab so fascinating that they decide to come back every year. I have teachers coming back every year and saying, you will learn more in two hours than 10 hours with me, what I don't ask from the teacher. So it means that interactive gaming about easy thing to understand, the budget, not difficult aspect relating to structure product, that's, I would say, the best starting point in order to be successful. We have also the pleasure, and thanks again to your initiative commissioner, the merit. Uh, the Wikifin Lab has been praised by international visitors as well. And of course, we are honored to receive many national and international requests to visit, to visit the Wikifin Lab. And it's now up to you to visit that. So good luck, I would say. We will have separate groups which are mentioned on your sticker. Okay? And you will see 
the objective is to be surprised, so enjoy your visit during the lunch break or at the end of the con. Thanks a lot. The next conference, it will be about Wikifin on tour with dedicated coach in the school. So <laughs> never ending story. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like everyone to still keep their seats for just one logistical moment. I'm going to ask the patio group to stand up and follow Chairman out of the room and the restaurant group to just wait a little bit because it's contrasens, because we don't want collision. So just wait one or two minutes until the patio group has gone to the Wikilab and then you're welcome to go to lunch at the restaurant. We will be reconvening here at 1430. Please be in your seats at 1430 promptly. Thank you very much. <laughs>